Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to fall before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? Oh, come on. Who would fool themselves to believe anything but the latter? Idle minds, too lazy to think beyond the following of the herd. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition, an endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind, now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, uh, this train... Random variables never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street? I'm sorry, mate, that's my train. Bond Street, here. Look, it's on the other platform, mate. Which platform, please? Just through there. Thank you. There's two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life with a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Careful the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys with me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Get something? Not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about before, you know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. <laughs> I think your boyfriend's an arsehole. <laughs> Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. <sighs> Can I help you with something? 
I need a favor. I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <sighs> okay, he doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. <sighs> it's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. I want to know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. Fine. I won't. <sighs> okay. I made a bet. A stupid bet that I could turn up at this party in a Maserati. <sighs> that was rash. How much is the bet for? A grand. A grand? <sighs> a hundred of it is yours, if you let me have those keys. Fuck. What? No more fast cars tonight, all right? Turn around. Slowly. Now get over it. Drop it. Smile. Now get in the car. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. student. Okay, I've got no money. My family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. You're done now. Get in the house. We checked your gear. Just want to make sure I locked the park. And I want to make sure we other the check your gear, Simon. Who the fuck is that? It's the night guard. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and then everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. They have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. 
How? Leave him to bleed. Need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that, you know, Irish Pete. <sighs> what about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. Look, I, I don't know who you guys are or what you're up to, okay? I'm not going to say anything to anyone. Well, it's not going to take you long to figure it out, is it? Well, no, not if you keep talking in front of me, it won't. It'll be on the news, smart ass. I'm not a murderer, I don't intend to start now. <sighs> Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. Diffinoxin? What the fuck is that? I guess would have had headaches like you. Hold still, making things worse. <laughs> Your headache's going to start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there, he may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with a valet key. A valet key? What the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. Not great for a getaway car, is it? And why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face. Is this fucking right about the key? It puts a block on the electrics, but we can sort it. No, you can't. You can't do it without triggering the immobiliser. But I can. But you can. Yep, certainly can. Looks like you just bought yourself a ticket and bought this operation. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. OK, let's get set. What do I get in return? Don't push your lock. Five grand for unlocking the car. And as of tonight, I'm out of a job. So I want a full share. There is no share. I'm taking his risk. So I want his share. Fuck off. Shut up, idiot. I'll be worth the money. Okay, I'll tell you what. You two split 50-50. That's the deal. Done. You can't do this. It's done. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find you something. So what do I do next? Do I go along with this and then try and turn them in? Or do I keep my mouth shut and take the money? I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. We're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Who's fooling themselves now? A crime still a crime. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. 9.20, thank you. I see you. 9.30, again to my left. left. 9.40, do I hear 9.40? 9.40, thank you, sir. Looking for 9.50. 9.50 to my left. Do I hear 9.60? Fair warning. 
I'm selling. 950 once, 950 twice. So for 950,000 pounds, this marvelous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is 950 grand for its time. Just try to keep it powder dry. Oh, I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? So we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tramp. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three simply beautiful pieces. Remaining examples okay, great. I'm of a red there. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece. The sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Yeah, but he can't afford it. What did we say about not talking? And so, we shall begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Thank the you, sale price, don't on the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Mate, Thank you, stop man. bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. Christ I'm almighty. looking for nine five, ladies and gentlemen. Nine five. Nine five, nine five to my right. So do I hear ten? Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him, talk to me. We're looking to break ten. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your fucking Ten we mind? have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Ten is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear ten five? You are so getting lumbered with this. Ten five. Ten five I have. Thank you. Now do I hear eleven? Eleven I have with the lady. I'm gonna Again, have a heart thank time. you, madam. Do you have a eleven, it's your bid, madam. Yeah, gut feeling. Eleven, okay. so because you know price. We have eleven five. Logarithmic curve, derivative eleven approaching five. zero. So the chances of getting away with another your bid. At eleven, madam. Well, it's eleven five. Half percent. Trust me. Eleven five. Eleven five I have. Thank you very much, sir. Eleven There's five. No it's your bid. It's against you now, madam. It's against you, sir. Eleven five. Eleven five with you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. 11.5 once, 11.5 twice. So, to the gentleman on my right for 11 and a half million pounds. Thank you very much, sir. Congratulations. 18 and a half percent. I guess we'll never know, will we? Come, let's get out of here. The wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem, darling. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. Just like you did when you stopped my bidding. So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Okay, what are my options? I can warn the security guard instead of attacking him. 
or I can take this lift up to a higher floor and maybe warn one of the employees, or go up to the roof and maybe try and escape from there. Out of all of the probabilities, how did I end up here? You did well, stopping mailing like that. Don't know what I've gone into her. Follow me. She seems to like the rush. You don't say. Okay, the assistant's packing up. You've got to move right now. Wait here. When Simon gives the word, move out to the middle of the corridor and wait for the guard to come to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Simon? Freeze the guard's image. He's not going to believe that. I'll handle that. Ready? Yeah, ready. Go. Alert the guard or let this play out. I might not get another chance. Stop right there, sir. This is a restricted area. What do you think you're doing down here? I, I got lost coming out the lift. No, this floor's staff only. Oh, I was, uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to. Simon, we're at the door. Okay, you have to enter both codes simultaneously. Got it? Okay, timing is key here. The left keypad is 309220. Okay, punch in the right code and I'm good. On the right keypad, enter this. 085209, okay? Got it. Now both hit enter at the same time. Okay, three, two, one. Got it, we're in. Thanks, mate. Take him with you. Simon, I'll come to the front to get you. expect this to go that smoothly. <sighs> I have to admit, I wouldn't have thought you'd live up to the task. Oh, thanks, I guess. And as far as I can see, you're beginning to like playing this game. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't, though.
have it. Thank fuck for that. Just get out of it. Nothing here. Nothing there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the bolt. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Wu's place and he turns it into money. Too fucking right. You gotta take a left. It's on Shoreditch High Street. Hong Kong City restaurant. This sounds classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop. Oh, hold, hold on. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this bowl. Jeffrey, you're not serious. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! 